A sombre procession along the route of that fateful march. They came to remember the civil rights campaigners heading to Londonderry's Guildhall on the 30th of January 1972. Their protest over internment without trial deemed illegal. It would end with the deaths of 13 people shot by British soldiers. A 14th would die months later in hospital. It's given rise to the longest and most expensive inquiry in British legal history. 12 years, 30 million words of testimony at a cost of nearly £200 million. A search for truth that is almost at an end. Nervous as hell. <laughs> Stomachs and butterflies, but this is the day. This is what we've wanted all them years. And the day we will get, finally get the truth. OK. Relatives of those killed and injured given advance access to the Savile Report in the building protesters never reached 38 years ago, hoping their loved ones will be exonerated and they can finally move on. Some of those accused of the killings but never named also getting the chance to see the report before it's published later. Well, I go in with sort of, well, in high excitement and anticipation. I've got great confidence in what the uh, tribunal is going to find. I've still got a bit of anxiety at the back of my head, sort of that there may be a small cloud somewhere. Thousands of people are expected to retrace the bloody Sunday march from the Nationalist bog side to the Guildhall in the city they call simply Derry. There they'll gather to hear Prime Minister David Cameron make a statement to the Commons.